Is there such thing as a girl being too slutty? Hell no. I mean, I ain't gonna marry you. I ain't gonna give you that title. The hell you mean hell no? But you can be slutty. No, oh, there's just such thing as too slutty. Oh, too slutty. Hell no, I'm not gonna give you that title. What I'm not gonna marry you, and I'm not gonna. What, did you hear me the first time? I heard you, but I don't believe what the f I mean. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. This would be our eighth, eighth. video. Eighth video. Mm -hmm. Number eight. The no. cinco. We both put questions out. It was my idea. I sent it to him. He sent it out. And then it came back as this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, man. And like. Like this video. Let's be at the end of the damn video. You can do it hey, in the beginning. You can't like a video that ain't been started yet. I've seen people say it in the beginning. It don't matter. It do matter. No, it don't. It do. I ain't mean, gonna like something that ain't gonna We could be talking about some bullshit. And they liked the video, and they're like, oh, oh, I'm like, why did I even do that? <laughs> Man, it happens. It's America. Anyway, does sex on a first date mean he doesn't see a future with you? No, not necessarily. But I wouldn't recommend having sex on a first date if you wanted to go somewhere. You know, but hey, you might be in love. But if you do it on every date, that's a different story. That's something you need to work out. It ain't nothing to do with the guy. Everybody got needs. Everybody got knees, but Sometimes that shouldn't be one of them because that's how you get hurt. Sometimes you want to hump and dump. Hey, do you? Do you? Why do guys like big bootays? Same way you look at a guy that's ripped, man. It's something nice to look at. You know, you want to feel on it, you know, grab it, whatever. Sex appeal, right? Huh. Oh, it's a butt. Who doesn't like girls? Like, you know, it's weird. Women like butts. That's weird. But, um, you know, it's a butt. Oh, that's a cute little butt. <laughs> you know, you don't like butts. Everybody likes butts. Butts, butts, butts. Oh, I know some people that don't like butts. Hey, weird. They, and, you know, they prefer boobs over butts, but... Most women expect to come before his mother or anyone else. How does he feel about that? Reasonable or too much? Do most women really think about that? I mean, think like that? Yeah, most of them do. They selfish. That's Uh, up. too much. Yeah, it's too much. I mean, you gotta understand that's his mother. So in a situation, I'm pretty sure he's gonna break up that time to where, you know, he's gonna manage his time, but in a situation where his mother's gonna need something and he feels like it's an emergency, yeah, you gotta understand she's gonna, she's gonna come before you. But if he puts her before you 24 seven and, you know, that's a problem, you, you, you'll know it's a problem. Boy. You, you got a mama's boy. Deep mama's boy. Cause every man, every man's a mama's boy, but you know, it's some people that are just into the situation. You know, it might be too too deep. Do guys recognize other f boys? Yeah, they all f boys, man. They all, all on date. Boys. They all date ones. They all f boys. They all f boys. And you, how, how do you get these long lasting if, marriages and all if, that? If you're not with me, they all f boys. That's my philosophy. And that's selfish. Selfish. That's life, man. You got you you got accepted, not me. If he give you everything you want and don't challenge you, he a fuck. Boy. If he don't come into the situation where he gets mad or he gets offended, because a lot of women just get with guys and he lets me do what I want. That's a fuck boy. Because and he just doesn't care. So guys he, that just don't give a fuck. He's about. there to get what he want he wants out of that situation. So when you start looking at shit, he don't get mad about nothing. Or if he gets mad because you're talking to a guy and tells you to stop talking to a guy for no reason, or he starts controlling your situation, yeah, he's a fuck boy. But y'all find that shit cute. Especially if y'all, you, I know y'all got friends that are kind of flirtatious. Pay attention to what they're doing because it's the same fucking shit over and over again. Why can't y'all just pick a place to eat? A girl's life would be so much easier if you just pick. See, look, if you just say what you, if you was just to say what you want all the time, men would be so much happier. Because then they can tell you no or yes. And then y'all can fight it out. Or if then we just figure out why the hell you keep saying that, then maybe we would have a like, you know, a thought in mind. I'm like, okay, she's this way, so maybe I should step up or some you know, shit like that. Like, you know, but no. You know, maybe this bitch crazy. 
gotta find out if you picky for food, if you like everything. Or if you're just crazy. If you're allergic to shit, you gotta find that out. No. no. Or if you're just crazy. Anyway you go, we gotta find out if you're crazy or not. I don't know what they gotta do with food. Yeah. What they gotta do with food? Everything has to do with food. You ain't making no sense. You ain't making no sense. Next question. How do you feel about girls paying for dates? Hey, I'm all for it. Equal ground, man. It's one of them 50-50 situations. I mean, you can't just go into a fucking date and say, okay, you expect her to pay since, you know, you paid last time or some shit like that going back and forth. I mean, it's all about equality, man. It just depends on the situation. If that's not something she's comfortable with. No, if, I mean, if she's not comfortable with it and she doesn't do it at all. I mean, put like all, this. That's, that's, put like this. If she doesn't make an attempt to do it at least once, that's something I'm not comfortable with. What's the point in trying to play women just to pass the time for entertainment? Number one, everybody trying to play you. Basically, the majority of that shit about being played is about boys. You're going to see a lot of them, so you just got to identify that shit. In most, in most of my cases, I've tried to, I guess, start a conversation and it went nowhere or I just was just bored with that person, which caused me to, I won't say play them, but you know, get what I want out of that situation before I left. So I guess I, it's just out of boredom or they might not see anything in you that they want, you know? How do guys feel about women who make that first move? For instance, if she asks you out on a date first or attempted to kiss you first after a date, how do you feel about women making first moves? She's gonna kiss me and punch me. So if she go in and kiss you first, you gonna punch me? I don't get it. I don't know you. I don't know you. So you go, you're going on a date. you clearly interested in this person. So nah, at the end of that date, y'all make some good conversation. Nah, I don't know who she been kissing. She could have been, you know, giving some oral relations. That's what you're talking to her about. You're trying to find her she, out, she man. Could've, she could have been giving oral relation the night before. Did she go to kiss me? I don't know who you been kissing. Dodge that shit. So you'd rather hold off and then later find out that it's still the same shit. Does the, the first kiss really matter? To her, I guess, if she making an attempt. I mean, maybe she really digging you, you know. Maybe she trying, you know. Oh, women don't dig you. Okay. Why is that? Maybe you got, maybe you, got act, you got, you have to act stiff. Me, perfect. Yeah, because me being honest, I think I'm perfect. Uh, I don't, me, but no, on the first attempt, no, I don't have a problem with it. Just because, you know, I don't have a problem with it. You know, hey, you know, make your move. You know, you wanna get your get your freak on? Go ahead, grab my dick. I mean, um, um, grab bleep, cause you know, you gotta bleep it out. You know, do Same what you thing. grab bleep. Do what you do. Do what makes you feel comfortable, my friend. Cause if so I if they with, feel comfortable with doing some just don't, shit. just don't grab my ass. No, that's what they feel comfortable with. So if you, if she wanna grab ass, that's perfectly she, what he said. Grab his ass. She grab my ass. She can chop the throat. No, she ain't gonna chop the throat because you want what's what comfortable for her. So she, she gonna she grab the ass, and you gonna be ass. perfectly content. I'm on a it. chopper. And, hey, okay, you listen to him. He gonna set you up for failure. No, no, that's what you listen to what he said. Press the rewind button. Listen to what the fuck he just said. As long as you're comfortable. Sometimes you gotta reach out and grab a boot. Grab a boot. <laughs> yeah, and then she gonna whack your ass. So what? If she grab your ass, that's the same. That's the same shit. And I guess it wasn't meant to be. How'd you feel if she grabbed your your breast, your chest? I should say. Just How would you feel? Probably if, if she's if she's goofy about it, probably laugh at. Oh, she's goofy about grabbing your ass. Nah. See? Nah, that's a, that's a no no. It's all in invasion of space, so I don't know. I don't get it. No. The guys tell their friends everything they do with their girlfriend. No, nope. uh, not really. Sure, we'll go with no, not really. Not really. Sure, I mean, we'll go with that. Why would you tell them everything you do with your girlfriend? I mean, I don't want to know what he did with his girlfriend. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's too, that's TMI. I mean, like, right. I, I ain't really. I agree with him. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> that, that sounds like some. Emotional sh <laughs> Why don't you talk to your friends about me? They need to know how I am. I think it was more or less of a situation of are you telling your friends are we are you telling your friends that we fuck all the time type of shit. Well, is that something y'all want? Uh, 
Don't ask me, man. I, I look, I I'm look. That's the question I've got, man. Why do guys cheat? Guys don't cheat. Women just think they're in relationships, and then they get hurt. What about the ones that go on for like years? Just that's a related. vacation. That's kind of <laughs> vacation. Um. You know, he just on the va- he on the vacation. He just wants some consistent loving. You know, want a woman spend some money on. Him. What is wrong with that? All right, basically, I'm gonna give a little rant here. Everything gonna say is wrong. Okay, everybody got you know they traits in the opposite sex, physical and all that shit. You know, nice ass, press personality, eyes. Smile, whatever. So y'all set y'all minds to find someone like that, but once you do find someone like that, that's also the same trait someone else is looking for. So of course they gonna attract to each other, and then you gonna get jealous and all that shit. And then once it keeps being overly jealous, y'all get problem after problem, and no person wants that. They go elsewhere, and that elsewhere just happens to be with someone that wants them. People want attention. That's fucking. That's the bottom line. People want attention, and if a lot of people are giving that attention to your boyfriend, then yes, he's going to be a little. Mm, 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 mm. Ones, ones that don't have self control, and that's a lot. So self control. You gotta get all you can get. I ain't got none in my life, and I regret it. I was trying to find a relationship, be a good guy, but I always get played by these bitches. So fuck. Can't, can't say that with a liquor butt on your hand. I ain't drunk. You can't say that with a liquor butt on your hand. I'm not drunk. It ain't about you being drunk. You got a fucking liquor butt on your hand. Hose of liquor. Hose of liquor. What the fuck are you even doing to it? I'm trying to get this. Don't worry about me. You struggling over there, obviously. <laughs> I mean, number one problem for women like men cheating on them is. Bitch, like, you're boring. Damn, he don't want to be with your boring kinda. ass. And you stupid. Boring. And you stupid for being with him. If he cheated on you once, go find you somebody else. That's y'all problem. Y'all be y'all. I don't want to give up on him. That motherfucker ain't working. How you going? Number one, people need to stop trying to think they gonna fall in love at twenty. It's Shit. possible, but I mean, that's, what, possible. That's, that's, a, that's the fairy tale y'all follow. Y'all think it's actually gonna happen to y'all, but that's most stop, cases man. it doesn't. Stop dating these losers. Y'all try too hard. Y'all be see y'all skip over a guy like me. Like, ah, right, we just friends. And then, you date some, and then you get cheated on six, seven times. How am I supposed to look at you? Because I look at you like you're an idiot at that point. So I see the potential in women that they don't see in themselves. And that's how I get hurt in the situation of, I can see her being here, but she's fucking somebody that has her here. And eventually it drops her down, drops her down here because at this point, you've been fucking boy five. You got that fuck boy juice on you. So now it's like, mentally you're fucking Yep. Everything you're gonna do is gonna be fuck. You're gonna continue to chase fuck boy, so it's like it's not worth my time. And we actually run into someone that's not a fuck boy. You don't know how to treat them. Yeah, and they don't want the time for that shit because y'all a little insecure about the past shit, relationships y'all been in. And it's so it's so funny because you'll see women who like, date a guy that's not that attractive and be happy, and y'all be like, why she with him? He not he ugly. You can do better than that, girl. Come on now. That motherfucker. Keeping her ass happy, he don't cheat when not so some of do cheat. Why do guys only want to have sex without a relationship these days? I can only give you my honest opinion about it. Uh oh, here we go. I'm gonna popcorn it. You want the relationship feeling without the relationship status per se. It's like you want the relationship, but you want the chill situation, like like if, like attention, affection, like yeah, attentiveness. Yeah, pretty yeah much you it. want everything but the title because once you put the title on it, you have this pressure. Now the pressure's on you to be this good guy. Instead of letting it, instead of becoming friends and then letting it grow into that situation, which is what I look for in most relationships. It's like you want, you want it to grow into a relationship instead of forcing it. And that's what a lot of people do. They try to force something and that's why they don't last. Cause now you're in a situation with a person you don't know. Or why people want to have sex without a relationship. It's too much pressure to be in a relationship. People have been hurt so much that they don't want to be, they look at a relationship as a bad thing and they look at sex as a good thing because it's like, Fuck it. at least I can have sex with this person because I just want to have sex and me and this person can just have sex together and I'm only one person. Cause some people just want to fuck one person. Man, once, you, once you slap a title on there, it, it's just with everybody, everything changes. Yeah. You, you ain't going to behave the same way towards him. You're going to be definitely more affectionate. You're going to want to do anything and everything with this person. You know, because host, you have a title. 
you know, your whole situation now is, you know, it's like, why now? Why don't, because if you don't add the title to it, it's like, all right, I, I was like, all right, I'll talk to you later compared to having that title. And now it's, oh, why didn't you call me? Right. Or I thought you were coming over today compared to that title not being there, being like, hey, oh, I might come over later. Okay. You now, then, have, you now have a number one priority. And yeah. It's her. Yeah. And she's going to be like, hey, well, you said you were going to do this. Or he's going to be like, well, why didn't you text me? Or why didn't you call me? You know, shit like that compared to it being just fun, you know? Me and, and a I, lot of people don't want that, that, that seriousness yet, man. It's, it's like, you young, just have a little fun. I mean, not, not like fun, like go out and do shit with other people. Do the six month to a year plan with every guy you meet. It's <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with that shit? If, if, if that's in your <laughs> mind, when you see me, just keep on walking. Yeah, next, next time you see this man on the street, you know, this conversation, you know, build up something, you know, say, I'm oh, sorry, I don't have sex for six six months to a year. You know, it's all about, you know, connection. I want to get with you first. And he's going to be all for it. You don't let that man get you hurt. You ain't going to get hurt. He's going to realize that he impatient. Ain't nobody going to wait six months. Oh, no, 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 we can. <laughs> I'm going to make it the worst six months of your life. You know, same old, same old. Like. Subscribe, comment, comment, hit that like button if Share. you like it. If you don't like it, masturbate. Hit, hit, you gave it the dislike button. Why, why would you? You just just give this video some attention. I'm like these pores out here. I just want attention. Love me, just love me. Creeper status. He gonna be outside your window. Peace.